welcome to my YouTube video. Today we're going to be telling you guys how to make a steady cam for either a GoPro camera, which is what I'm shooting with here, or for any other smaller point and shoot camera. Should work great. Uh, now, two things today. First thing, we want to make this as lightweight as possible. I'm going to be bringing it with me on the Honolulu Marathon. Make sure you check that video out down below. There's a link. Uh, you definitely want to see how well this thing works. And then, uh, second thing, cost effective. We want it to cost next to nothing. So the first step here is going to be to take this, uh, this little four-way piece here, and uh, we need to sand down the insides so, uh, so that the bearings here will fit. Alright, now that we've sanded these out, just double check, make sure that this uh, bearing fits in. Once I tap that down, it'll fit in nicely there. Just make sure it fits in all four, uh, all four sides here. Uh, the right angle here, get your sander back out. We need to sand this inside out. We sanded that out. <clears throat> this is uh, pretty much good to go. Uh, next step is uh, that three inch bolt that we talked about earlier, the 5 16 um, Bought a three inch, I think a two inch is probably better. I'm gonna block it off here with a few, uh, a few nuts here. And so it'll be a little bit shorter. It's almost like a two inch now. So we have that, and then that's gonna go over top, the bearing there. This is all gonna seat right inside here. And then uh, we'll glue that in. This is gonna be your handle. So this will be the next step is, uh, we're gonna take this three inch coupling here. Um, we're gonna cut it this way, a little bit, beyond half. Um, so somewhere around here. And then we're going to cut it right down the middle. We want about, not down the middle, but we want about an inch or so. After cutting, this is about, this is the piece that comes off here. Next step we have here is we need to drill a hole directly in the center here. Uh, then we're going to take this and I drill the hole just slightly small so that we could thread it on there. This will be the handle here. This is going to be one of the revolving axes. Okay, so next step is, so we have our uh, little four-way divider here, and um, we're going to take a 5 16 by inch and a half um, bolt here. We're going to put it down through, kind of drop it in, find its way through um, so that it comes out. And what we're going to do with our other piece here is we're going to have this go right through there, through the holes we just drilled, and then the same deal on the other side. We're going to put the bearing in. So this is what we got. So this will be our handle. This will be uh, one of the axes that this is going to be spinning on. Now, what we have going on here, drill a hole on either side. And now, put about a uh, an inch and a quarter bolt through. Now that bolt, as you can see here, there's going to be another nut in between spacing and then a nylon nut on top. And that's going to pinch it down together, holding the, the bearing right here. We'll slide this on, clamp these together nicely. That cement will let it sit. Now you want to make sure that this is able to spin freely. All right, then we're going to take the the rod that we had. This is 5 16 Pretty much everything we're using is 5 16 here. Uh, the reason I picked 5 16 was uh, that's the inside of the bearings here. Now uh, I assume all roller blades are pretty much the same, but definitely go off of whatever size. Bear so next step here, we're going to put the bearings at the top the bottom here. Um, just fit it in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our steel rod here. We're going to run it up through the center here. We're going to cut it at about uh, about 19 inches here. So we'll find 19 right about there. You mark that. I'm going to cut that. So after cutting that piece off, what we want to do is uh, get a pair of vice grips. Now you're going to need to hold onto these nice and tight. And now the nut's going to go on here. Now we're going to bring it down about five inches or so. Now we're going to take we're going to take our steady cam assembly here that we already made. We're going to slide that down. Make sure it's nice and free to move here. Now we're looking at another axis. So we got this one, this one, and we got this one. Looking pretty good. Right, so we're tightening this nylon nut down. You don't want to tighten it too much. Uh, this PVC here is pretty fragile. You can actually see here I've already cracked it. Uh, that's from not sanding enough. Okay, so now we're going to take our stud guards. We want to put a hole right here, right here, same. You can use 5 16 just to keep things simple. So once you've drilled those holes, you do want to bend these, uh, these back down. You definitely don't want to stab yourself with those. 
Okay, now that we have the two plates with the holes on either side, we do want in one of the plates, we need a hole right in the center here. We drilled that third hole there in this plate. It's big enough to fit over the 516th rod here that we've created. Um, now what we want to do is, before we put that on, take another nylon nut. It's going to go down just below. So you want this down far enough that the plate can sit on top of it and we can get one more nut right on top of it. We've got this plate on, the one with the hole in the center here. Put another nylon nut on top of that. Next thing we do is put the other platform on. We're going to put these, uh, these bolts through here. 5 sixteenths again if that's what you want to use. I actually went with something a little smaller. Um, trying to keep this as light as possible on top. Okay, so we're looking good. That's our first plate there. And we're going to take two more, uh, two more nuts here and bring them down. And you want them just a little bit below, maybe a quarter inch. If we get those down, we're going to take our next plate and sit that on top. Alrighty, so here we go. Starting to look good now, starting to look familiar. So this is our platform here. Next thing we're going to do is our handle, then we'll do our counterweight. So now we're moving on to the handle here. So this looks good, looking really good. Um, handle here, it's the other piece of PVC. Again, that's a half inch PVC piece. All of these are, except for the big uh, the big circle we had, which was a three inch piece. Um, now this handle, you can make it to yourself. I'm just going to cut it off nice and short here. So for your grip here, um, you can use like a bicycle grip, you can use a motorcycle grip or a um, motocross grip, any of that stuff. Uh, the simplest thing I found was just to use um, uh, grip tape. It's going to be, this will go into the eighth hole here, and seven more over, and I'll cut at the eighth hole. Alright, so we cut this piece, and all I did here was take two nuts, put them there, now I'm going to tighten these down, cinch them down really tight. You do want it in line with your um, top mount up here. Alright, so next step, we're getting ready to mount the GoPro. Uh, what we want to do is use the quarter 20 mount GoPro cells. Uh, we're going to mount that right up here. So we're going to need to drill another hole. This one turned out to be really good. Uh, if I move it back side to side or side to side or forward and backwards, it seems to be pretty steady, uh, which is awesome. I'm not really going to add any counterweights, but you can. Put some wing nuts down here with again 516 threads. No worries, it's good to go. Um, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe.